Hey everybody, this is Retro Care, Retro Care Reviews, doing a retro roundup of the last week of news. Uh, getting to the most obvious point, if you saw my Instagram, then you saw this Marvel Select uh, Miles Morales. I'm um, happy to report that it's actually a pretty good upgrade sculpt-wise on Miles. Um, I haven't got around to the uh, ac accessories, the web, the, I guess, uh, again, select attempt at... Um, his uh, Venom Blast, but um, it looks pretty good. Um, I'll try to do uh, a quick review here. Um, a little bit of differences between um, this and like a basic Legends figure like my Scott over here. You can obviously tell in height other than the uh, Action Four stand. Um, the problem is uh, I've kind of noticed um, that there is a lot of single joint legs and uh, arms action. I don't know if that's the case with my... Um, uh, Winter Soldier that I also got from the select line, so I'll double check that, um, probably in a future review, so be on a lookout for that at the very least, and more importantly, um, I got really lucky on Prime Day this week because I got a pretty decent sale on a three-pack, uh, Cobra, Geo Classified Viper, uh, Officer, and, uh, I think a half of a platoon here, um, it's still in box, um, however, I did get a look at it outside of the box, it is a lot more accessories than you usually get. Um, I'm trying to keep the plastic-free packaging because, again, the art is actually not bad. Um, digital renders for the figures themselves over here, and I believe the accessories. Having to get a, a quick sample of how the articulation and the uh, effects parts are going to work uh, is going to be very cool for photo shoots for future figures going forward. I would love to have these um, staying in the house as long as I can as jobbers for future figures down the pipe come later or next year at the very least. So with that being said, uh, let's get to the news uh, entertainment-wise out of the way because let's get the Toku stuff out of the way. I am horrifically behind on, yeah, you guessed it, Kamara Gates. Um, however, I highly recommend uh, Zio, Agito, uh, Zio Agito, if I got his name right. Um, I'll leave the uh, channel in the description below um i really am very much impressed of how quickly uh you are behind on a writer series and they're already in the middle of the summer and it's final form season and i can already i just want to give my quick uh thoughts on the final form for uh, gates over here yeah it's very nine tail fox it's very naruto you can definitely obviously tell uh with this exact uh suit design um i saw the debut henshin and uh and fight with said henshin and it was freaking amazing uh the vfx has definitely changed the last couple of years especially in the wayward era you could definitely tell and uh, on to the most obvious news now getting back to the figures uh, let me just clear everybody out here um for this next part um yeah deadpool 3 uh finally did what we all kind of wanted to do and i was planning to make it an x uh news until some other stuff happened recently this week yeah uh hugh jackman's in the yellow um for this particular version of uh yellow costumed um uh, Logan. Uh, I think this is his first years back from the dead in, I think, either the 2018 or 2017 run. Um, my apologies, I mean, it's, uh, the heat-up claws of the dead giveaway, but, um, on the costuming and the lighting alone, uh, especially with the new one here in the upcoming movie, yeah, you can definitely tell. Oh, yeah, and, uh, Wade's, uh, suit upgrade is not bad, and whatever. <laughs> not a big wait, Deadpool guy, but I will say it is very astonishing X-Men kind of style colors. I'm going to be honest with this one. And as much as I love to show more and more of the photoshops, not photos, um, set photos. Uh, however, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, go to Trench's Discord down below. And, uh, oh, check out his uh, new uh, figure review for his um, uh, Ultraman uh, SH figure art that he just got recently. That being said, uh, yeah, one big thing that kind of got into the room. Yeah, uh, finally, uh, for those who are unaware, uh, for the last uh, couple of months now, the Writers Guild of America has been on strike, mainly for the most obvious reasons, AI-generated stuff, and basically being replaced in any way they can, and obviously, as speaking as a union guy, wage disputes. So, it's a uh, complicated of other reasons why they are justifiably allowed to be on strike, and now, uh, SAG Africa, uh, SAG Africa, uh, act the Screen Actors Guild, long story short, is very much uh, with them, so much so that I think as of this recording, the entire cast of Oppenheimer uh, dipped the minute they did their London premiere for the movie. Uh, I am a semi-casual uh, Christopher Nolan fan, I've never had time to do a retrospective of his career. I liked his work, I'm very much um, a big fan of his uh, Batman, obviously, but um, yeah, I feel like his best was like, uh, obviously Memento and um, Inception. However, it is pretty bold that the entire cast said, nah, I'm out of here. Also, I'm a huge Killian Murphy fan since, like, 20 days later, so we'll get to that probably later down the road for future retro reviews. 
that being said, my thoughts on the strike itself, uh, yeah, pretty good. Um, I also highly recommend any uh, official articles explaining how ghoulish the studios were getting uh, with the writer's half until this happened uh, earlier this week. So, yeah, uh, speaking of ghoulish shit, um, let's get to the last half of news. Yeah, uh, for those in the comics community, uh, pretty much my two cents on the death of Ms. Marvel. I could kind of see be a really good issue. I saw the highlights, and there were some good po uh, good points in the funeral service for Kamala in the in the in the comic, uh, namely Wolverine. A lot of the champions showed up, so yeah, both Miles and uh, Logan showed up to her, her mask, which was awesome. And yeah, um, also Ka uh, Carol showed up. And the reason why she's in X Men uh, gear here is because yeah, editorial is definitely gonna live up and probably honor what's currently happening in the MCU version of her uh, later this year for the Marvels, and basically gonna go ahead and make her a new mutant. So, um, I guess uh, we can finally say that Inhumans are kind of being less and less marketable as time went on. I mean, we all knew that when they were doing the show back in like, ooh, I want to say 2014, 2015. Yeah, it's been a long time since I had to worry about that show. Um, I know um, Mr. Sunday Movies did a whole uh, retrospective of that show, so card there in the final cards. And um, one last bit of news, and hopefully a future retro review after my Mission Impossible review later this week. The 35th anniversary review, uh, retro review of Die Hard. Hence why I got my, uh, speaking of other uh, uh, Diamond Select figures, my, uh, one of my first few, um, uh, collector figures of, um, John McClane from the said movie. Yeah, um, I, I know we, we had a whole, uh, like, discrete, uh, discussion of, like, not being in figure form, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna need you to do something else. Oh, no, no, please, 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 no. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm awesome, and yeah, this does highlight me in my prime, and if you know uh, Bruce's uh, health history last year, we'll leave that in the description down below. But, um, you know you're gonna have to do a retro review of Fifth Element eventually, right? Yeah. Great. <laughs> uh, back out of characters. So, yeah, uh, there's gonna be a toss-up between one of those. I'll probably put it as a poll for that in Fifth Element. Didn't have time to do the uh, screenshot for this as a... Uh, uh, this recording. So that all being said, that's pretty much the news. So, uh, what do you think of what, uh, my thoughts? Let me know down below what your thoughts on the news. And, um, yeah, uh, just want to reiterate with the, uh, SAC Africa, sorry, uh, Writers Guild joining the, um, Actors Union. I'm oh, sorry. Both are working together to strike against, uh, the current system of Hollywood. I'm totally in for it. I'm all, I'm all for wage disputes. I'm all for them getting equally paid and getting equal time and being treated like, well, humans and not robots so yeah and uh, in case some uh, asshole in the uh, fandom menace uh, community is like oh they're all woke now because they want to be like human it's just like oh shut up i don't nobody cares so yeah that being said uh also last of the highlights i do really like the costume um it's been like 23 years uh to see hugh in the colors once and for all so with that hopefully still in production or more importantly will be out hopefully next year aside uh go to these guys here to the and cards from my previous review and uh, go to uh, the other half of these figures from my upcoming uh, shorts for uh, Critical Role episode uh, 65 for campaign 3. And uh, yeah, hand here to sub the channel, uh, notification bell down below for future retro editorial news. And with that all being said, I am Richard Character Goose saying, yeah, I really got to catch up on Gates because um, yeah, this strike is uh, definitely wanting me to catch up on Toku. So be on the lookout if I do. Seriously, I actually really need to catch up. I hear also King Oger is awesome.